Hey everyone, I wanted to showcase an app today that I realized I kind of overlooked before. Uh, it's not on the wiki yet, so I'm going to put it up there momentarily, but um, I'm going to show you... I probably should put it on the wiki first, but it's all right. I'll put, the, I'll put it on the wiki as soon as I'm done with this. Uh, so I'm going to show you an app called Dozzle. Dozzle is used for... Put this in here. I'm going to start a couple of these up just to show you. Uh, Dozzle is used for logging. So if you've got logs and... Oh, this is interesting the way this is doing this. So notice how it's kind of cutting off my thing down here. I have to scroll that way. That's weird. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start Sonar and I'm going to start Radar just for two. Uh, so we're going to discover apps. We're going to do a custom. We're going to do uh, install VL YAML because I don't think Dozzle is in here. So usually when we look at logs, we look at them, we look at them through the TrueNOS interface, but that's not the best interface to use. I'm going to come over here. And again, you're not going to see this. You guys are going to get right to the wiki. I'm just going to pull down this YAML file real fast. Here's the here's the compose file, and the reason this is super simple is it doesn't have any volumes, so this is going to be really fast paced. So the only thing I have to want to do is I want to change this port. I'm going to change this to like 9002, only because 8080 I think is being used by Qubit, or there's something else on 8080 that I can't use. I'm just going to change this external port. Uh, so that's it. Uh, image. Uh, so I'm actually going to add something to this real fast. I'm going to say restart. I'm going to say um, restart is going to be unless stops. And that's going to be added in the one in the wiki already. So I always like to have a restart policy in here. But that's it. That's all it takes. So I'm going to, I'm going to launch this app. There we go. And it, that's how fast it goes and gets running. And I put it on 9002. All right. So that should be running. So let's come out here to 9002 now. There we go. Okay, so this is Dozzle. Now, usually, if you have everything running, there'll be a ton of container names over here, and they'll tell you some cool stuff. Their CPU, the memory, no big deal. I just want to show you what this looks like. So this is the logs here. So when I click this, this is Dozzle. This is Dozzle's logs. When I click this, this is Radar's logs. I can scroll up, and it'll tell me how much of this I'm going back. 29%. So there's a lot of logs here. It's 4%. So I can come all the way down, all the way down. There we go, down here. I can show you guys that, for example, I just want to see the errors. There are no errors. So I can say show all in this, in this case. But if there's an error, I can just scroll to the errors. This is sonar, and this is what's going on with sonar. All right, so these are the logs. It makes them way easier to see than the ones on TrueNOS, I think, when I come over here to like sonar's logs, for example. This is the log right here. Connect, blow it up. These are the logs. I mean, you can see them perfectly fine through here. It's just, I don't think it's as clean as this is, which is probably a little bit harder to see because my screen's a little small, but um, I can filter by errors here and do things. The really cool thing I can do that I like the most is that you see this little fork right here, this tuning fork. When I click this, this is now showing me radar and this is showing me all the containers in running containers, which is really cool because if there's an error in your stack somewhere, so you have like an R suite going and one thing is talking to another and you're not sure where the error is, I can now compile all my logs into this, this one screen and watch and just pull the errors out here like that. Now that, there we go. So this, even though this is coming up as standard error, this is not actually an error. So that's cool. This is just a level info. But if there was some kind of error here across multiple containers in my stack, uh, I'd be able to see just the errors. So I can just come over here and show all, and I can follow uh, traffic all the way across this thing. So that'd be really cool to actually see that. And I think it's a really much better way to manage your container logs than going through the TrueNOS interface. So I wanted to show you guys this. As you can see, there's no password log and anything like that. And the, in the YAML, the Docker Compose is super simple. So this is something I'd recommend you run. I run on everywhere I'm running Docker images just because I think the logging is so much better.